especially with regard to their requests, their exceptional items on salaries. It's no secret that state employees have not had an across the board pay raise since fiscal year 2015, which was 2%, the one in 2016. I don't call it a real across the board pay raise because what you gave with one hand, you took away. It was designed to offset the pension uh, increase in contribution of 2.5%. We talked, uh, well, I testified earlier today about salaries of attorneys. And uh, as I said at the time, if you look at the attorney one position, it is a B21. And the salary range is 48000 to 78000 The top salary you can get in a B classification for attorney is 92000 to 156000 Starting salaries for first-year attorneys, and it is a range because higher higher uh, salaries are paid in larger counties than others. But in Austin, it is over two hundred thousand dollars. It's two hundred twenty-five thousand in the law firm I'm very familiar with for a first-year attorney. These are very complex cases. Think of them as, especially when you go on trial. Uh, trial. Think of them as being in a legislative session on steroids uh, because it is very intense and you do not get a break. And there's something new every day. So these people, uh, all the state employees deserve a salary increase. I'm not talking about just the attorneys, but they also need support. It is very inefficient and ineffective to have state employees who are highly skilled, highly complex work to not have some administrative help. And I can talk to the about that personally. There's four in my group right now. I'm one of four. This is why you see me <laughs> constantly today. Uh, so it is very inefficient. It's very ineffective not to have some help. There's also, when you have turnover, the issue of losing time is very important. Training somebody else is very costly. And so all those factors need to be taken into account when you're talking about state employees, um, pay raises, state employees' salaries, as well as retention of the current state employees. So I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, always available to provide information. Thank you. Thanks, Ann.